anything. So here's, here's what it is. We, we find ourselves a lot of times talking this way, and I believe it's a result of people not doing what God said to do and expecting God to do what he said he would do. Thinking that God should do it, but you doing nothing. And I, friend, it'll never work that's this way. Again, there is things that God has said in his own power. There's times that's, that's coming. Jesus is coming back. The thing, it's going to end up just the way that God said it. Some people say, oh, I don't believe that. It won't, it won't have no effect on it. It doesn't matter. It's going to happen just that way whether you believe it or not. Well, I don't believe there's a hell. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. I don't believe I don't believe this or I don't believe that. And if it's in the word of God and God's word teaches it, it doesn't matter what you believe. It'll happen. It will happen just as sure as you and I are breathing today. Now, but for us as the body of Christ, this is what's important. We know those things are coming to pass. They will come. Jesus is coming back. God will call the church out of here. And all these things are going to happen just like the word says. But, but here's the thing now. There's no need in worrying about too much of that. Later on, it's going to happen. But what we've got to do now is live. What we've got to do now is receive from God. What we've got to do now is walk by faith. Walk by the word. Are you listening? Walk by the word. Praise God. Amen. So we're going to re be a receiver of the word of God. Amen. We're going to have to quit, aren't we? Praise the Lord. Whew, I got there's some things I want to say, and I'll tell you what, the will... That, that'll be all right for right now. We, we appreciate you today. God loves you. He cares about you. I'm telling you that he cares about right where you're at right now. And he wants to bless you. Now, let's attend to his word. Give some time to, uh, and attention to that. Let God minister, start ministering the word to you and begin to realize it is really God's word. And it's really him speaking to me. He began to change it, began to change your thinking and, and all these kinds of things. So we love you and we appreciate you today. Father, I thank you for the mighty word of God today. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Lord, for everyone that will listen and hopefully not be offended. But Father, your word stands true. And we believe you today and we, we just thank you that people's needs are being met. Thank you that people are receiving the word of God. And if you don't know Jesus, it's time, it's time that you make him Lord of your life. If he's dealing with you, he's speaking to you, look, please submit yourself to him and say, Father, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I need you. I, I believe right now in my heart, I believe on Jesus. I believe that Jesus died for me. I believe that in my heart. Now I'm, I confess him with my mouth as Lord of my life. Now, Father, receive me, and I thank you for it. I thank you now for just changing me and, and making me a brand new creature, as your word says. And I'll follow you, and I'll get in the word. Amen. But Lord bless you today. Until next week. This has uh, been Brother Kenneth and uh, Brenda Gross with God's Word for today. And we appreciate you so much. Until next week.